Last year is gone, guys. We don't need to talk about anything about last year. That just keeps us in the past. You can't bring nothing back from last year. No wins, no losses, no people. We don't want distractions. You don't fit here, you won't be here. That I can promise you. Gripping at my skin The walls of night closing Around me Everyone just assumes Brady's gone, Baker's there, and this team's gonna stink. I would be careful about that. Hey, a little better tempo in and out of the huddle. I, I know it's at stake here, but it's one game at a time. If I take care of business here, we're gonna win a lot of football games. Boom, good. This is a new being. This is a new creation. This team, 23 bucks. Tripping from my eyes, seeing red tonight. Trust your training. Always play the next play. Believe in the guy next to you. Every one of us was made for this. Be the uncommon man. Let's go. How great will Mike Evans be regarded as after this season? Looking for Evans, he's got him! Touchdown! I want to be able to do everything, because that's what I can do. The whole world know we're coming now, so guess what we're going to do? Intercepted by Sam fighting at the goal line! I know where work needs to be done. I told Levante we're going to push each other. I just look forward to, you know, being in this moment. We can't take these opportunities for granted. Thank you. Running. Can he get there? Lowers his shoulder, and he's got the first down! We don't listen to nobody. We don't hear no outside noise. Yeah! Yeah! We write our own narrative. After an off-season of change and enough speculation to fill up Tampa Bay, Buccaneers football floats on. Right now, the current state of football depends entirely on who you ask. It's the new reality of a team in flux. But no one here is looking to jump ship. This is a team that's ready for change and a coach that knows it's time to clear the decks. While the skeptics turned their attention elsewhere, Todd Bowles looked around and made his team younger. Players with a hunger to learn from the all-stars that still populate this Buccaneers roster. The coaching staff is also filled with new faces, headlined by a young coordinator. His mission? You got any touchdowns up your sleeve? I'll call it, I swear. Inject life into an offense that desperately needs balance. Golden. And then there's the quarterback, a man who bears a striking resemblance with his new team. Never been better out to prove that while the world may have turned their backs, his best days are still in front of him. First time Baker Mayfield trying to go to the air and he wants a lot. Down the middle, oh, he comes right back. Mayfield to the end zone to Jefferson. Is that possible? Yeah. On first down, Mayfield down the middle for the touchdown. There you go, Bill. Let's have a good set. My mentality is I'm never, you know, truly trying to get the approval of anybody always thought that, you know, if you're going to like me, you like me. If you don't, that's okay. Baker Mayfield, I always thought he just wasn't mature enough to be a franchise guy. Too many chips on his shoulder. This is an extremely competitive league. There's going to be ups and downs. You're going to have to weather some storms. And uh, I think the, the most important thing I've learned is try and be the same person each and every day for everybody in this building, no matter if we win or lose. Hey, Chris, I got to put that harpoon out there on the sideline. When you see the doubt about this team in the media or around the nation, it, it's usually couched along the ideas of, yeah, that team still has a good amount of talent on both sides of the ball. They're not going to be any good because they don't have a quarterback. Oh, my God, we got it. We got it. The thing about Baker that I think a lot of members of the media perhaps are ignoring is that it would not be a surprise really to see him have a very good season because we have actually seen him do it. 2020, they went to Kansas City and had the Chiefs on the ropes in the divisional round of the playoffs. It was a close game. Baker is a fearless leader. He's a very smart football player. I don't think he gets credit for how smart he is and how gritty he is. He's done that his whole career. He understands ball. The guys trust him. Uh, he trusts in the guys. 
What matters is that I, that I can feel yeah. where that's going to be. Yeah. And you see it, we're going to get that. And when it's time to rock that, yeah. we're going to rock that. Yeah. So far, he's come in and he's just been one of the guys. I think it allows him the space to be able to step in and be like, you know, like this is what we need to do because he's already working on building those relationships with God. Perfect ideal world would be hitting you on the run, but as flat as you need to be. He just doesn't care. Like, if he makes a bad play, he comes back, he's just super positive, ready to go. Like, he doesn't let anything get to him. High rush, bang, progress, good. I can feel how serious Baker is taking this opportunity, this chance with this team. A little Netflix while you're getting taped up. Yeah. Yellowstone. It's an exciting time for us, and I can feel that he knows the weight of it. I think the thing people can always feel about me is that my love for the game, the work that has to be put in to have success. You gotta put the work in so you know exactly what you're doing to where you're having fun. Foundation. How has Tampa embraced this? It's, I mean, extremely positive. I, I think uh, we were excited about it to see everybody that said they were going to show up and donate and help out. But I, I think now that we're seeing all the staff and players, everybody that's just willing to, to help for the same cause, it's it's an amazing feeling. So we're, we're pretty lucky to be uh, in this position. Hillsborough County is one of the biggest school districts in the U.S. I think it's like number seven. Yep. So there's a massive, massive need for it. Getting pre-K kids literacy ready so that they can go to kindergarten with confidence and the readiness. Specifically, it's families that are just above the poverty line, so they're not getting any government help. And to, I mean, they're still working families, so those kids are in need. No problem, man. Hi, Hi there. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Brought this guy. This is really the special oh, guest I brought right. you. Look at those little shoes. Uh oh. The culture here, it's a great culture. It, it's, like I said, it's much more than football, and, and everybody's willing to do everything else to give back and, and to support. So it's, it's a very welcoming feeling. Oh, yeah. That's it. Stop working so hard. You know, you're trying to hit both of my arms, and my hands are sweating. We limited about three balls before we got hit back by the fan. Gotta, I've been living under that fan. You have bigger golf. Emily, do you swing them a couple times? Or? I do. Yeah? I can usually take this one. But I, have a, I grew up playing. He picked it up on our honeymoon, so I've taught him everything he knows. Oh. <laughs> Are you guys are pretty competitive then when we're going to be out here swinging? Yeah? yeah. Normally we would uh, like to call it date night and go play nine holes in the Sometimes afternoon. Sometimes we don't evening. talk after date night. No, it's, it, gets it, too it normally heated. ends in a fight. So <laughs> that's why top golf is good in between. Yeah. You guys are going to be fun to watch this year. We can't wait. Um, yeah, we're Awesome. Good game last night. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Y'all look good last night. We're ready for the real thing now. Right, 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 right. Personally, uh, I'm all about winning. So everybody's talking about the NFC South, but it's going to be a lot better than what people think. So uh, a lot of new faces in the division. So we're, we're looking to, to compete in that division, win it again, um, and go from there. Obviously, for me too, the goal is to be here long term and not have another move out to her like we did in January of this year. She's a trooper. She's a trooper. <laughs> it's fun though. It's an adventure, but um, he's a more fun roommate when he's winning. So this is the most fired up I've seen him for a season. Here we go. Let's go, man. Let's, day. Let's put it all together today, man. Let's put it all together today, man. Very fascinating to see how this Tampa Bay offense looks. There's a lot of questions about it. Now it's Baker Mayfield. What do you make of the fit? He has a lot of moxie about him. He's got the energy that matches this new offensive coordinator, Dave Canales. You see this a lot with teams with new coordinators and new systems. The other team simply doesn't have a lot of tape. There's a bit of a mystery in the early going, at least, what exactly this offense is going to look like. Look at Baker Mayfield. I wonder how he's feeling, what's going through his head, how fast his heart is pumping right now. Low snap, Mayfield in the pocket, in trouble, and then Kevin with the sack. It's all about weathering the storm, especially early on in the season when you don't exactly have all the, the breakdown tape, all the cut-ups and film. Hey, we're good. 
Hey, we got, hey, Mike, DT, I got all their signals. We just keep rolling. Knowing what their coordinator, Brian Flores, wanted to call um, and what his, you know, his nature is, take a deep breath and be like, okay, we're good, we got this. Put one together right here. Let's put one together. Nothing's been easy for Tampa Bay today. Can they get something going here? Mayfield, quick pass, caught, first down. Let's go, let's go. Mayfield was looking to take a shot, and then finally is Mike Evans. I think all camp we've uh, we've stressed situational football. We've done a lot of two-minute drives, calling simple plays. Everybody knows exactly what to do. We have the, we have the team to do that. You just get up there, get lined up, and take what the defense gives us. Second down and ten. Mayfield looking for Evans. He's got him. Touchdown! Baker Mayfield to Mike Evans. Let's go, man! A 28-yard connection. Beautiful route here by Mike Evans with the double boot. They call this kind of a corner post. Really nice throw by Baker Mayfield. A little bit of timing and anticipation from them there, too. Good job, man. Good job, man. Good job. Baker Mayfield making a deep throw. No pressure. No pressure. Good drive, man. Great drive. Great drive, really. Good drive, man. Good two-minute operation. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's go. Now we got our juices flowing. I can tell you that Todd Bowles said those three turnovers in the first half were so clutch, especially that goal line interception by Christian Izian. But he said they have to keep generating pressure up front on Kirk Cousins. On the other side of the ball, don't be surprised if you see that. Hurry up. Here we go. Hey, good teams capitalize right here. Let's go. Let's go, man. I mean, I can make any throw on the field that I need to. I know that. Recognition of coverages, knowing exactly uh, how a team's trying to defend us and being able to go from there. Pressure coming, Mayfield Evans makes the catch. And Mike Evans to the 40-yard line. That quiets the crowd. A big third down conversion. 390, good. Blitz coming, Mayfield sees it and completes it to Otten for another Tampa Bay first down. Well, this is just an unbelievable play by Baker right here. Yeah, he's going to the left, and instead of taking that shot or trying to run around that shot that he's going to take, he just gets both feet off the ground, which allows him to flip his hips and get a good throw in. Third and goal. Mayfield with time over the middle, caught, touchdown! Trey Palmer! Hey, Trey! The rookie from Nebraska with his first NFL touchdown. It's quiet. It's quiet. You know, it's quiet. All of a sudden, you score some points. Way to make a play, bro. Oh, definitely. Hey, you, you didn't keep that ball, did you? Nope. He's killing the boy. I won't. It's okay. I was trying to come on. Did you again? I didn't keep it. I mean, I just feel like it's a lot coming. Second and goal, Madison in motion. Cousins to Madison at the five, stumbles, trying to stay on his feet. He's in! Touchdown! What an effort by Alexander Madison! They do everything we said they were going to do. Really, that's frustrating. I don't really start conversations by any means, but in the moment, if, if it's a critical moment, big play, that's when you kind of see the fire and passion come out. I think you see that mentality uh, with a lot of our guys. That's just kind of who we are as an offense. Mayfield pulls it back. He's going to run it himself, trying to stick on Murphy. He gets a couple of extra. Right up! Hey, Baker. That's the Baker Mayfield we know. Right up! Connecting on a stiff arm is hard. But I like this at this time of the game. This guy's trying to earn a spot to stick in an organization for a long time. Todd Bowles is sending out his kicker, McLaughlin, for a long field goal attempt. McLaughlin hit from 57 two years ago. Last year from 50 plus, he was 9 out of 12. Kick on the way. Does he have enough? Oh, yeah. He does. Let's it's go, man. Hell yeah. Big kick for 
McLaughlin, and the Bucks take the lead. That ball was driven low and hard. That thing was a screamer. All right, we're not giving the ball back. Hey, right, the ball ends in our hands. Ball ends in our hands. And now the fans here in Minnesota bring in the noise. The Vikings need that noise with 3.52 to go. 380. There's Mike Evans in space. Across the 45 into the 44-yard line. I think one of the beauties of being a new play caller is you don't have any tendencies here. There's nothing that Brian Flores knows you're going to do in this situation. 380. Is it? Mayfield Run. running. Can he get there? That's why you have Baker Mayfield as your quarterback, because he does not care. Football is a violent contact sport. Uh, I've always loved that. When the game's on the line, you're not exactly thinking about sliding or getting out of bounds. You're thinking about what do I need to do to help this team win. Big moment right here, man. Find the guy we're made of right here. Here we go. Two minutes left. Third down and ten for Tampa Bay. If the Bucks get a first down, they can take a knee and run out the clock. Quick pass, Godwin, did he hang on? He did! What a catch by Godwin! And that is going to send everyone in Minnesota home. Hey, good Vic. You got to give so much credit, man, to Baker Mayfield. The early part of this game was tough. Great, play. Appreciate you, Mike. This is who he is. Proud of him. I mean, that was a really nice performance. Seeing just the resilience of everybody on the team that we had. I mean, it took all, it took all phases. I think you felt that excitement in the locker room afterwards. Describe this game. Yeah! Let's go! That's a hell of a start, guys. Hell of a win on the road against a hell of a tough team. We got one down, we got a lot to go. We know we can get better, but we fought our asses off. I'm proud of you. Let's pack up and go home. Yeah! Hey! It about how you start, how you finish defense. Hell of a job. Chase, good kick, man. Yeah. Bucks on three! One, two, three! Bucks! The Tampa Bay Buccaneers' first win of the season may come as a surprise to those outside the walls of Advent Health Training Center. After all, not much hope was given to this team throughout the summer. With a large group of big-name players departing and limited room in the salary cap to sign new ones, the Bucks had to get crafty. So the scouting department looked to the NFL draft and dug in. There's only seven rounds in the draft. When you get done and there's 230 something guys drafted, there's still a lot of really good college football players available. It's all about trying to get the right kind of person, not just the elite athletes and the great players, but the right kind of person too. It's kind of a grind just because it's so competitive. It's almost, you can compare it to college recruiting a little bit, right? Because you're trying to sell the opportunity. Go. The last day of the draft, I woke up that morning praying for an opportunity. Someone's going to call nice. my name. Nice. Nice. I didn't expect to go undrafted. You know, I believed I was a draft worthy player, but more than that, that didn't happen. Found him at Rutgers. My son goes to Rutgers. I've seen him for the past couple of years. I didn't really have any interest from any, you know, Power Five schools or anything, any big schools. So I was literally a 5'8, 185 kid in New York City. We saw something in this kid, you know, and I can see potentially why he didn't get drafted. He's short. He's not little because he's put together well. He's kind of, he's rocked up. He's played multiple positions. So I think there was probably a little bit of um, guesswork of what he would be in our league. Guys look at me like, what are you, 5'8? Yeah, you know, 5'8", five, 5'9", five, but I'm, I'm ready to hit the shit out of you. So it's just, you know, coming out there with that savvy aggression, knowing that, like, you got to have it turned on every time you're out there. 
it's rare that a rookie comes in and understands the nuances of football. He understands that part of it. I've been playing against high-powered offenses, like the Ohio State, the Penn State, the Michigans, you know, my whole career. So in this one, he ends up matched up on this, uh, this tight end, Cade Stover from Ohio State. Christian's actually gonna be matched up in man coverage. So I just wanna show you he's in great position and then the, the burst to close and, and break up the pass. He's a very smart, crafty, tough-minded individual that knows how to play the game. He has a lot of Winfield type of things in him. Todd loves this is the ability for the nickel to blitz. First of all, just the, you know, diagnosing the, trying to time up the snap, avoids the big tackle. You get these little guys like this that can run and they're super twitchy and bursty. It's hard for those big tackles to get their hands on them. Cousins has thrown for 273 in the first half. For those of you that watch the game at, at the end of the first half, they just hit a big play to Justin Jefferson and, and they're kind of driving for a, a score here. Second and one. Christian again playing the nickel position ends up in, in man coverage, but he's got it's two man, so he's got a little bit of help on the inside from Ryan Neal here at safety. Cousins over the middle, Osborne, and it's picked off! Intercepted by Tampa Bay! I was really aggressive. I told Shaq actually that drive before. I feel him coming down the seam with this ball. And he might throw it at me and I'm gonna catch a pick. Christian Izian, the undrafted rookie from Rutgers. Oh, oh, range. Y'all got top T before the draft. Get him top T. He told me he was gonna catch a pick. Gonna my rookie out of here right now. He told me right before the draft he was catching the pick. And he went out and did it. Check the cameras. I know. See, He took it with one hand. It was a heady football play on his part. Uh, it was a crafty move for a rookie. I've been playing football since I was six, so I had a lot of, you know, teammates, a lot of friends playing, like, hey, crafty. And then it started off as Chris Crafty. And then in college, I was able to get, get the pennant of it. You know, it's just been sticking with me. And, you know, my friends at home go with the flow. You know, they change their names on Instagram. You know, this name, Crafty, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of a, a deeper meaning to me now. Actually, I had a late, uh, my late cousin, his name is uh, Dre. Uh, he's my quarterback since I grew up. And his name was, he was the Dre Crafty. You know, he ended up passing away the day before his birthday on the uh, on uh, New Year's Eve. I got his face tattooed on me, you know, like he's like everything to me. So, you know, this chain now is bigger than just wearing it for myself, but more like, you know, for us, you know, his legacy. The ones who know, they know, like I say, I do this every game. I call my friends to deception. You know, I made a post, you know, it's Dre, this is for you. I know he's watching me. Christian Izian and the Buccaneers defense held their ground in week one. Now, back in Tampa, it's time for the takeover. Now the Bucks coming into the year were a team that not many people liked, but I think they opened a lot of eyes week one. Hey, we had training camp for days like this, okay? Yeah. Offense, we got to keep them out there. Defense, we got to get off the field. We ain't going to knock them out with one punch. It's going to be body blows, continuous body blows. It's about how we start this ball game that's going to set the tone for the rest of the day. We come out swinging, and you swing for four quarters. Swing for four quarters. Four quarters, you guys understand that? Yes, sir. Don't wait for them to punch. We got to punch first. This aggressive, disruptive Bucks defense. It's been good for a while. And they've got really good players at every level. Vita Vea in that front is a beast. Devin White and Levante David last week were tackling machines. Hey, that's the reason why we this good, man. We go out there, we put the work in. Every day we touch the field. Mentally, physically, huh? Ain't no iron shot for iron over here. And we're going out there to fuck them up. Hey, let's hunt, bro. Hey, let's hunt. So the Bears from midfield. Fields is under pressure. Shaquille Barrett gets to him. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Shaq Barrett from undrafted, one of the top defensive players in the league. Third and 13, Bucks showing pressure. Bringing only four. Fields with time, runs out, and goes down with the flag down. And hey, we built for this right here. And hey, we built for this. For the Bears right now, you've got to put the drive together. I mean, your defense is tired right now. It is hot today. Third and nine, they're showing pressure. It's a screen. And more going nowhere. Levante David. Fields run into trouble. Throw in the move. Let's go! Let's go! The Bears had a 75-yard touchdown drive to open the game, and 
not a whole lot since. 75 yards on that first drive, 40 the rest of the first half. Let's go, D. Let's go, D. Turn over and put it away. Moves it all the way back to the six yard line. 2-12 left in a three point game. Out of the zone, in zone, intercepted by Shaq Barrett. Fighting at the goal line for a pick six. That just might seal the deal for Tampa. Well, you've got a stunt that's going to go inside, right? So you're going to start to head inside, and, and you're going to get blocked. And watch him. He just kind of drifts back. He's going to get picked up, recognizes the lineman leaving downfield and a very athletic play by Shaquille Barrett right there. It's a not-so-subtle reminder. Six sacks and two picks on the day. The Bucks' defense can still dominate a game. And their crafty rookie sends the Bears packing. Third down at 19. Fields over the middle. Claypool couldn't hang on. It's intercepted. Two games, two picks for the rookie, Christian Ezian. So they're looking at 2-0. and oh. A year, if we talked about, a lot of people said, eh, Tom Brady's not there anymore. Eh, Baker Mayfield, we know what he is. I'm leaving the boy. He's your thing. Whoever had them 10 and Bay predictions, throw them in the garbage, man. We here? Hey, I know we're coming for it. Okay, so two games, you've held two teams with 17 points in this league. That's almost unheard of. How happy are you that your defense is gelled like this? I don't think we've even gotten close to who we should be right now, but to do that while we're trying to get there is pretty good. We're tenacious, you know, we, we're going to hunt. And that's, that's, that's our identity. That's what, we, that's what we lead on. You know, we play together and we're going to hunt. We're going to get whoever's out there. 